first question that we'll be solving is about shapes and how we can find the areas of regions created by the intersection of certain shapes. All right. So this is the first question. Here we have two squares, A, B, C, D and P, Q, R, S. Okay. They are intersecting. And how are they intersecting? So they are intersecting such that this point P of the square P, Q, R, S is exactly at the center of this other square A, B, C, D. All right, and they are intersecting at other two points. So the uh, square PQRS is cutting the edge BC at X and the edge CD at Y. Okay, this is the shape. And for values, we have the sides of the two squares. So the side of this square is six centimeters, and the side of this square is eight centimeters. Okay. And they are intersecting such that this YC is 2 centimeters long. Okay, so this is all the data we have. Now we have to find the area of this shaded region PXCY. Okay, PXCY. Alright, so let's give it a try. You can pause the video and give it a try yourself. Okay, so let's solve it. Okay, let's look at the question clearly. Let, let's look at the diagram because most of the questions, most of the answers of such questions lie in the shape itself. So, actually this uh, size of 2 cm, the side, is irrelevant to us. This is not required in the question. We can just get rid of it. Okay, so this was not important. Then, just look at the question, look at this square. Forget about the extra portion, look at this square. Alright, this is the center, P is the center of ABCD. If we simply extend these lines, okay, we'll find that since P is the center, if we extend these lines, the square is getting divided exactly into four identical parts. What are identical parts? Identical parts are uh, parts which have similar properties. They have the similar side lengths. They have the similar area. Okay. What does that mean? That means the area of this region is equal to this, is equal to this, is equal to this. And that means we can see this plus this plus this plus this creates the whole square, right? So we can simply write four times the area of the shaded region. Okay. P, X, C, Y equals the area of the square. What is the area of the square? It's the side is 6, so simply the area is 6 square. That is 36. So, the area of PXCY is 36 by 4, that is 8 centimeters square. Simple. So, the answer was already in the question in the diagram. That 2 was just to distract us. So, yeah, the... Uh, hint to such questions or the trick to such questions is to just look at the question properly.